everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all a very easy and flavorful recipe for curry edos with peas. This is going to be a vegan slash vegetarian recipe. So let's jump into the recipe by putting up our pot on a medium heat and adding in oil. Once the oil is nice and warm, add in your meti or fenugreek seeds. And we're going to allow those to toast until they're dark brown in color. After which, you're going with a few curry leaves or carapule leaves. And some chopped onions. Along with some pimento peppers or hot peppers if you like. We're going to saute this until the onions are translucent and light brown in color. And once it's nice and light brown in color, we're going to add in our minced garlic. Now you're going to saute this for an additional 40 seconds until the garlic is light brown in color. You don't want to burn the garlic. If you burn the garlic, it tends to taste really bitter. Now add in your curry powder. And I actually used two tablespoons here, although you didn't see me put in two. I put in a little bit more after. So we're going to toast the curry until it feels greeny in the pot. It should take about a minute or two. And you want your heat to be on a low for this part. You want the curry to take its time and cook. And then once it's grainy, go in with some water. This is going to cook it further. And you're going to cook this until it turns into a thick paste. Make sure your heat is on low guys and allow it to cook until the oils start to separate like you see here. And then I'm going to add in some green seasoning. You can add some chopped green herbs if you like. Everything I have, all my herbs, I blended it up into my seasoning. So give that a good mix and then add in your edos. Now I used edos, you can use potatoes if you wanted to. And put salt to taste. You can always adjust your salt in the end. Give it a good mix and allow it to fry up in that curry for about five minutes. After it's finished frying up, you'll go ahead and cover it with enough liquid. This needs a lot of liquid, so you wanna cover it over the edos itself. So make sure you completely submerge it and bring it up to a simmer and cook until the edos are tender. Once the edos are tender, you can go ahead and use the back of your spoon to sm start smashing down on a few of them to thicken your sauce. And if you didn't want to smash down guys, it's totally optional. Make it the way you would like it. I'm making it the way I like it. Just remember. So once you smash down on those, you're now going to add in your peas. And that's why I smash down and then add peas. I don't want to smush up my peas. So I'm adding in my cooked pigeon peas. And I'm going to allow it to cook an additional 10 more minutes. And then this would be ready. All you have to do now is go ahead and taste. Make sure your salt is where you would like it to be. If you guys wanted to add some boiled and fried eggs to this, of course you can. Feel free to do what you want. Some people even like adding boiled salt fish to this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's a very simple, easy and delicious recipe to have with white rice or roti. Thank you all so much for watching. If you make it, comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.